welcome to the channel. First things first, if you have not subscribed to this channel, do yourself a favor and us and subscribe to it. Okay, I have allowed my tree collared, and yes, it is called a tree collared. It is a perennial. I have let this purposely go a couple of days so that we can do a video. I want to show you all something that has worked for us. It has worked for the people I've shown it to. And before I do, I want to tell you there's no endorsements. I'm not getting any money off of this. I'm going to put a link to this. This is Thuricide. Okay. What do I like about this? It is organic. And here's another thing. Being the fool that I am, you all know I've talked in my other videos what an idiot I am. I've sprayed this on some of my plants. I turned right around and come up here the next day and eat a tomato off my vine. I'm still here, still alive. Didn't even know I'd done it, so I like it for that. It says controls, <clears throat> excuse me, controls wax moths, uh, wax larvae, which is the caterpillars. But if you've got those green little horn worms that are on your tomatoes that you come up two days later uh, and they're completely decimated and you say, what in the hell? And you look and see the worms. This right here, I'm telling you right now, will kill it overnight you will find those guys shriveled up at the bottom dead it also works great on these worms that are, that are on my collars and i'm going to show you my trusty camera person here i'm going to show you something that is let's see that is 28 ounces okay i'm not much on measuring i'm going to show you what i do because that's what another thing that i love about this and i just watch how much i put in that's about it. Okay, I've had this thing like three years. I've had this bottle three years, never lets me down. I like it because you're not gonna burn your plants up. I like it because you can, if you make a mistake like dummy here and eat a tomato after it, you're gonna be okay. But if you have any type of a worm on anything, I even spray this, and you've seen some of my past videos on um, squash bugs. I've been spray this on the squash bugs. It does okay, um, but it will slow them down. So I want to come in here and show you. Oh, we're going to cringe, and I'm cringing because I normally don't do this. But I want to just pull this back, and I want you to see these worms that are on here. Can you guys see those? Okay. And you can see what a lovely job they have made. Look at this guy right here. Okay. They have done a lovely, lovely job. Of completely destroying my um, perennial collard. If you do not have a perennial collard, look them up on YouTube. They are really neat. I have this friend of mine that's about 40 minutes from me and we met and we traded one day some plants and I've got this and it's been great. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust this. I'm gonna get it to where it's gonna work. Here we go. And you can see right there, okay, See where I sprayed? Immediately, immediately they're running, running for the hills. It's not gonna work. Now, I just liberally put it on here, okay? And notice I'm not really worried about getting it. I've got my, my ghost pepper right here. I got a brag, let me show you these. Look at those majestic beauties. Those are my ghost peppers, first year for those. And they are coming out everywhere. Little side note, look at that. Okay, those are great. I'm just spraying just like this on this. Again, you know, so much stuff and chemicals that we have, you know, I don't, because I only do organic. So many chemicals that people have, they say, oh, I don't want to get that on my tomato, and I don't want to get that on my collard. Da, 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 da. I don't care. But this stuff, um, it is great. And I'm putting a link, as I said below, at the bottom of the video. It's going to show you how to get this. Now, the, tomorrow, um, these will be gone. I mean, it's wonderful. I want to show my dedication. I let my collar tree get decimated so I could show you all how to fix it. No collars for me. So, this is going to come out in a day or two, and it'll look brand new. Yeah, I know. One of you old timers is saying, man, he's loading that up. 
he is loading up that thing with some chemical. Organic, it's not gonna matter. Got a little bit of wind tonight too. Now, here's something else I'm gonna do. You all can see we've got our, uh, our jalapenos. We got these from the horticulture sale at Mississippi State University. Some of the best ones, I showed you the, the um, ghost one over there. And then right here, I've got my Thai chiles right here that we're getting ready to pick, okay? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lightly go over them just because there's a chance, there's a chance that they might like spicy food. I don't know, these may be worms that like spicy food. And if they do, I'm gonna make sure that they get it too. Again, I can't express enough. I don't have gloves on, anything. This stuff is wonderful. So if you do have a worm that you've got on a plant, it's close to your jalapenos, it's close to your other pepper plants, they might like spicy food. Just let them uh, go over and they're just gonna get the same thing here. Guys, I hope this helps. I really do because we battled with cut worms, we battled with collard worms for a while. I've not done one of these videos because I just think this is important. Again, I'm gonna show you what this is. You can get it on Amazon, I'm gonna put a link. Thuricide. I've had it this at least three years. You can look, just pan out and show the garden and show the size. This will show you, you know, here's our garden. We've got our tail over here. This one little bottle does all of this. So keep that in mind. Any questions or comments, let me know. If you've got tomatoes, if you've got collars, if you've got kale, if you've got tomatoes, anything that has a worm on it, you are absolutely crazy if you don't get this stuff. It works wonders. Have a great night. Hope this helps. See you soon. Mm -hmm.